many of you guys here are doing their first track day? That's it? How many, how many people here is their first time at PBIR? All the guys that are doing the first time, are you guys all a novice? Any intermediates or experts doing their first track day at PBIR? I'll do intermediate. You bump down a group? From what you normally run. If it's your, if you normally if you normally run intermediate, but it's your first time here, just drop back a group. Um, what we're gonna do so everybody knows, experts when they go, you guys are free and clear to go. Hopefully, you guys know your way around here. If you don't, drop back a group. Intermediate, we're gonna run two laps. It's gonna be lead follow, no passing on lead follow. First two laps. Just to, for those first guys here, uh, to try to get you guys off to a nice, slow, steady, steady pace, rather than going out there. Who do you mean, Elvis? Novice will be the entire first session is right. going to be lead follow. The whole first session. No passing for the entire first session in Novice. The intermediate, the first two laps will be lead follow. Just to kind of get you guys off to a slow start. Um, in advance, pass at will. Please be courteous of your other riders. Um, hopefully you guys probably all know each other. So just try to be courteous to people around you. We want to make it safe. Our number one goal today is to get out of here with no red flags. We've done it before, we can do it again. So let's make that our number one goal. Um, intermediate, you can pass on the inside, but you gotta make sure you have a six foot buffer. Or you wanna be past him before you initiate your turn in. So either six foot buffer or you're by him before you turn in. The goal is to not make him change his line. That's an intermediate. Novice, you can only pass in a corner if it's on the outside. All right? Yeah. You said that you pass on the inside. Wasn't it pass on the outside intermediate? You can, yeah, you can always pass on the outside. That's okay. always clear. Just make sure you give the rider enough room. If he alters his line, you guys don't come in together. All right? So again, novice, the only time you can pass in a corner is on the outside. You cannot pass somebody on the inside of a corner. If you're coming up on somebody real fast and you think you can get them, wait. If you aren't already, already past him, you hesitated, just wait and get him before the next one, all right? It's not a race, there's no trophy, there's no money, there's no award. It's a track day. We're all here to have fun. If somebody goes down, suddenly it's not fun anymore, all right? So one more time. Novice, only passing on the outside. Intermediate, pass on the inside. It has to be safe. You need to be by the rider, okay? And you need to have a buffer. You want to have six foot. If you were to stretch your arms out, that's six foot. Keep that buffer. That allows you a little bit of margin. He might turn in, he might turn out. Uh, let's see. In the event that somebody goes off the track, this place uh, a lot of grass, maybe even too much grass. It looks pretty, but the grass is real slick, especially in the morning. Uh, it's real thick. So when you get through the grass, it's real slick. Get up off the seat. Do not sit down. I see guys sit down, they put their foot out. The second their foot comes off the peg, they're on the ground, usually on that side. So keep your feet on the pegs, sit up, ride it like a dirt bike, stay neutral, get your ass off the seat. You hit a bump, your ass on the seat, comes back up in your ass, throws you off the bike. Right? Ride it like a dirt bike. Up high, nice and neutral. If you go down, um, if, if the bike's okay, you can pick it back up, continue on, fine. Give it a once over real quick. Um, if there's any kind of damage, come back in, you've got to re-check the bike, make sure everything's safe, you good to go. Um, take the bike off the running, get it off the track, uh, get to a corner worker, away from the bike. Let's say you go down on the track, you're in the middle of the track, you go down. The first thing you need to do, get up, get away from the bike, off the track. Please, I don't care if you think you can get it up or not, you go down, get up, get off the track, get away from the surface. It doesn't mean stand on the rumble strip and watch the guys pass your bike and point at it. Get up, get to a wall, or get over a wall. Get away from the bike. That is the biggest bullseye you could ever imagine. It's you standing on the side of the track. Somebody looks at you, you're going to come and say hello. Alright? Everybody clear on it? Pit out. I think everybody should know pit out pretty easily. Uh, this track's a little better at pit out. People tend not to dive back in. When you pit out, stay to the left edge of the track. It's pretty easy at this facility. Just keep on the left edge. You're going to follow it around to turn three. Get up to speed pretty quick because people are going to be coming out of turn two. Get on the throttle pretty fast. Get up to speed and merge the track. 
stay to the left side. Pitting in. When you're going through turn six, seven, and eight, you should already know that you're going to pit in at the end of the straightaway. You should already have that decided before you get to eight. Okay? So once you make that turn for eight, I'm going to pit in, get to the left edge of the track, throw the arm off, and just ride down the track. Doesn't mean you need to do 20 or 30 miles an hour. You cruise down pit lane, or down the uh, back straight, throw a foot out, throw an arm off, just to let the fast guys know that the lights go by and you're not behind you. Right? People have a tendency, the track's real wide. People have a tendency, well, I don't want to be on the race line, let me move over here. Eventually, you've got to come back left, and you're going to go right in front of someone. So, left side of the track, from the exit of turn eight, when you get to turn nine, go straight off. Do not hit the apex of turn nine. So you should run straight off the track, and then turn in to the Turn nine again. Turn nine. To be clear, coming down that straightaway, back straight. You're on the left edge of the track. Your arms up or your foot's out, or both, and you're gonna run straight off the track. You slow down, run straight off the track, and then turn in. Not hit the apex or not. If you hit the apex, you're doing another lap. Come back around, get in on the next one. All right. Yeah, but it's not with Fernando. Once Fernando's you decide you're going to pit in, throw your arm up and throw your leg out, you're not changing your mind. That's it. Go ahead and pit in. You're not going to come back. Oh, no, I want to go back out. My buddy just passed me. Uh, come up through hot pit, make a stop, and then you can go back out and pit your butt. Once you decide to pit in, you signal to pit in, that's it. You're pitting in. Come on in and go back out. Um, on pit road here, there's no stop sign. Um, you're going to see where race control is going to be with the flags. Be courteous. If you're going through a hot pit, maybe you pit it on accident or whatever, uh, make sure you stop at race control. There's going to be guys pitting in and pitting out. We don't need to have a collision there. So just be courteous. Make a quick stop and then go past race control. Please. Uh, oh, I missed this. Uh, in the event that you were to go down at the track, okay, anytime you're on the surface, once you pass pit lane, your gear should always stay on, no matter what you're doing out there. Your helmet's on, your gloves are on. If you go down somewhere, your helmet stays on, your gloves stays on. If somebody slides off and hits you, you want to be protected, as well protected as you can be. Always have your gear on once you leave pit lane. Alright? And then just ride at your own pace, guys, please. Um, you're going to learn both the you can ride within your comfort zone, you're going you're gonna to grow faster. The mental setback of a crash, because you're pushing yourself outside your limits, is far greater than what the advantages are. As soon as you go down, you're looking at a six-month setback, because you went down because of something that might have been really small. But ride within your limits. You're going you're gonna to grow naturally. Right? The advance is going to go first, then intermediate, and then novice. You advanced guys tend to be the ones that are ready the fastest, and you guys go first. There's going to be about six or seven control riders here. They're going to have these fluorescent, bright, blinding yellow shirts on. If you guys need anything, you want somebody to ride with you, show you something, grab one of them. Any one of them will be willing to work with you. That's why they're here. So uh, that's their job. If uh, you find yourself, you're out there, and you just don't know what to ask. People come up to me and they say, Nick, I don't know what to ask the control rider. It doesn't matter. Hey, come take a ride with me. Start talking about the track. Start talking about a lap. We'll figure out what your questions are, and then we'll work with you. Okay? All right, flags. Flags are going to be displayed uh, front street, plus the turn eight, except the caution. Caution will be uh, front street, nine. Uh, you'll see them at two, two and five, and then turn eight. The green flag I didn't need to bring. I think you guys can all get what the green flag does. Caution. The event that a rider goes down, um, let's say somebody drops a camera off their bike or something, it happens, you might see a caution flag. Standing caution means that somewhere on this track there is something of concern, whether it's a piece of debris, a of tire, a camera, or a bike. Standing yellow means there's something on the track. A waving yellow means that there's something directly ahead. It might be the next corner, the next straight. Uh, slow up your speed a little bit. Don't chop the throttle. Don't grab a handful of brakes. Just moderate a little bit so you can get past whatever the issue is. And then you can take the 
take back up to your normal speed. There's no uh, no passing under a waving flag, under any waving flag. Black flag. Race control or control rider, if somebody has a problem or an issue or needs to talk to you about something, good or bad, front straight will have a black flag. You'll come down to uh, the front straight here. He's going to point at you and wave you in. Next time you come out, come around the track, uh, pit in, get with race control. Go find somebody who uh, needs to talk to you. We'll get with you go back out. If you're not sure if he was pointing at you, just pit it anyway. Probably going to be something minor or something you just need to stop. All right? Red flag? Red flag fast. Uh, and it's the most important flag that you're going to see today. Red flag means somebody's hurt. It means you can't get the club. Medics got to roll. Traffic's got to roll. It doesn't mean chop your throttle. I've seen guys out here, and I'll, I'll tell you right now, we'll go out there, and somebody's going to drop their bike, go down straight away. And they chop the throttle and they're doing 30 miles an hour down the straightaway. <laughs> Somebody's hurt sitting on the track and needs an ambulance. They need medical care. Do not do 30 miles an hour going around the track. If you turn a 130 around here, red flag means you do a 132. It means you don't need to push your limits, but it means you need to get off the track as quickly and as safely as you can. Somebody's hurt. Every minute you're cruising around, he's sitting out there hurt and we can't get the ambulance to him. Alright? So please think. That was you out there. You want these guys off the track as fast as possible. All right. So red flag. Don't check up the throttle. Don't grab a handful of brake. Slow it down a little bit. But get in the track. Get in the pit lane as fast as possible. If there's enough time to let you guys go back out, um, race control will let you back out. Um, Any time a you see a corner where a lot of times we'll use a red flag. If, let's say your bike's on fire. You got an oil leak. The chain came off. Flat tire or something like that. Control work or corner workers are usually going to you're going to see them pointing at you, waving at you, jumping up and down, screaming. That, if they're doing that, it's pretty obvious. Get off the track there. Right now, get off the track. Don't continue on. You might be leaking fluid on the track. Get off now. Get off the bike and we'll figure out what's wrong with you. All right? Last but not least, checkers. It's the end of the session. I think everybody can figure that out. Like most people say, everybody's a winner. Um, continue on your lap. Pit in. And uh, get ready for the next one. I love the sessions. Sessions are going to be, we're going to start off with 20s. It's supposed to be real humid today, so if it seems to get real hot, we might cut it back to 15s. Try to let you guys stay hydrated. And we don't want to half empty track out there. so. Uh, but we'll see how that goes and see what you guys think about. Um, there'll be three groups, uh, advanced, intermediate, novice. There's a good amount of people here today, so that should work out well. Uh, any questions? Yeah, is there a tech? Yeah, tech is right here as soon as we break. Um, I know, there you go. Come on. No. Okay. Everybody, I, I don't know about Dunlop Pirelli. I think Bridgestone's going to be here. Michelin's here. I'm over there. I'll change anything. Standard rate, $15 a tire. Sell tire, whatever. I'll be here at the end of the night. Oh, thank you. Uh, and I know there was a bit of confusion as far as today's event. Uh, it started off with one company was hosting it, and that company was out. Does everybody know? Yeah, FRS was hosting the event. There was some people asking what happened. That's why we're here, so we just want to make sure everybody understood that. We're not affiliated with FRS. We're actually a TBIR. This is a TBIR event. Uh, TBIR, uh, if anybody was wondering, has ordered the safe barriers. Uh, they will be installed, 1,068 feet of it. So that's, that's going to be taken care of. Yeah, yeah, they've been notified. They're not canceling any more events. And it wasn't relying on you guys to do it. The track stepped up to the plate, caught them themselves, they realized that's what should have been done, and they didn't. Okay, so, pass off the TBIR. Hey, how do you I do not know. I'm sure somebody's going to pull them out, but I don't know if there is yet. All right, guys? What time was it? Now. Hey, man. Hey, what's going on? Good, how are you? Good, good, good. How are you? 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 Good, good. How are you?